the holy souls in purgatory they need our help our time to assist them is short eternity is forever who is without an interest in purgatory who has not somewhere a treasure buried in that dreary casket called the grave and had they none were they of the few who have never lost a friend should their interest in purgatory by any the less among the deep since god's friends are there and god desires them elsewhere reflect on what you do when you aid to release one of these prisoners of love you free a soul from dire woe from inexpressibly suffering you add a citizen to heaven you give a joy to the angels and saints you comfort and delight jesus and his mother mary this is from the writings of sister charles borromeo osd I was in purgatory tonight. It was as if I was being held into an abyss where I saw a large hole. It is touching to see the poor souls so quiet and sad, yet their faces reveal that they have joy in their hearts because of their recollection of God's mercy. On a glorious throne, I saw the Blessed Virgin more beautiful than I had ever beheld her. She said, I entreat you to instruct people to pray for the suffering souls in purgatory, for they certainly will pray much for you out of gratitude. Prayer for these holy souls is very pleasing to God because it enables them to see Him sooner. This is from the Revelations of Blessed Anna Katharina Emerich. Help, help, they suffer so much. We can never appreciate enough that when we give alms to the poor, small or big in amount, we give this to God. He accepts it and rewards it as if it were given to Himself. Therefore, all that we do for the holy souls, God accepts them as if they were done to Himself. It is as if we released him from purgatory, so to speak. As there is no hunger, no thirst, no poverty, no need, no pain, no suffering to compare with what the souls in purgatory endure, so there are no alms more deserving, none more pleasing to God, none more meritorious for us than the alms, the prayers, the masses we give to the holy souls. It is very possible that some of our nearest and dearest family members and friends are still suffering the excruciating pains of purgatory and calling on us piteously for help and relief. It is indeed dreadful that we have forgotten them all this time, except probably once or twice a year. The time to act is now, and let us do all but all we can for them. Read me and wake up. In my long life, writes a priest, I have noticed with amazement how few Catholics give generously to the poor and needy, notwithstanding what our blessed Lord commands them to do. I have also remarked that some Catholics are indeed very generous and good some care for the poor, others look after the sick, lepers, consumptives, cancer patients, and mentally deficient. All have their friends, some prefer to help the young, the hearts of others go out to the old. All the various classes of the poor and needy find champions, though, as I have said, these are not nearly as many and generous as they should be. The strangest thing of all is that, I have never met one man or woman who had dedicated himself or herself entirely, wholeheartedly to the greatest of all the needy, viz. the holy souls of purgatory. 
There may be a few who do so, but in my long and very varied experience, I never met any. Alas, the words of this good priest are only too true. We appeal to those who have not as yet dedicated themselves to any particular form of charity to dedicate all their energies to the holy souls. Let them do what they can personally and also induce others to help. The best way is to spread about hundreds of copies of this little book and so make hundreds of friends for the holy souls who can read it and refuse to help them. May Our Lady of Mount Carmel and the holy souls in Purgatory bless and assist all who read and help distribute this excellent book. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take good care always.